Previously on Welcome to the Family. We say goodbye to Santa Claus. This is the Santa mission. But we're surprising him with a Santa. So we're trying to do this like super quick so he doesn't know. That's your Christmas gift, honey. Oh yeah. You couldn't be without your Santa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Many years ago, probably over a decade ago, Bert and I bought this 12-foot Santa that we used to put in front of the house all the time. We receive a call from Valerie. Who told me she had forgotten something and had to come back to the house to pick it up. And she told us, hey, did you know that the Santa is down again? We had just bought the Santa like two or three hours before that, so it was very odd. Bert ran downstairs and ran to his Santa because he was just panicked. Something happened to my brand new Santa. Because it was really windy that night, so we thought that maybe one of the branches caught it. But then when I got closer to it and I lift up the Santa, next thing you see is a gash. Hey, I got a question for you guys. Do you think it was a pagan hate crime? You think maybe, it was it against Santa or was it against us? I think it's because you guys Santa. are too jolly. Yeah. Eventually the news found out about it. They started contacting us if we would let them know what happened to the Santa killer and see if we could find the Santa killer on the loose in Miami. We were hoping maybe to pass by now if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm home. Hey. Hello! This is the, uh, this is the yes, this is the Santa house. I had no idea that every single local station and some national stations picked up the story. Just about every single South Florida TV station came out to find out what happened and who was trying to kill Santa. It's not about bragging or anything, but for us, people are kind of used to seeing news trucks or some media trucks. Some of the people in the media are really close friends of ours. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, yeah. Six, eight, eight. Behind the scenes. The interview and the video that we just recorded, uh, we put it inside of our, um, our editing system. Shane is editing what will air tonight at 11 o'clock. So he's going over the video right now to make it pretty for TV. Um, I just picked out a piece of the interview that we did with Alexa. He'll slap that onto the end of the video and then we feed it back to the station. This is like obviously a big antenna that goes back to the station. They hit play when it's time. Typically our deadline is usually 10 minutes before the show. But when it's breaking news, um, there is no deadline. It's just as soon as you get it in, that's when it airs. It wasn't really the cost of the Santa. We were trying to see if maybe somebody would recognize the guy or maybe we can shame him into seeing what he really did to a family. What about these people are going out there and hurting other people's Christmas? And why are you so upset about this Santa? Then it was kind of cool because you could see like the different styles of each television station. You could see who was the more professional ones and who was the ones that were asking the questions to get the complete story. Who were the stations that were trying to sensationalize everything. So it was interesting. The neighbors within the block were in shock. They didn't know what the heck was going on and they were a little too nervous to come and ask. So what they did was they turned on the television and they figured it out. <laughs> They don't know what's behind it. Just because you happen to have, you know, a nice house with yeah. big, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's just really, it was tasteless. And also the way that the person ran up to the house, they were skipping. Yeah, like it's kind of cynical yeah. to see somebody skipping on over to yeah. damage somebody's property. I just can't leave it alone. I know I can't call the police because it's a waste of taxpayer money. But you know what, if somebody can help me catch this guy. Uh -huh. So it's right. not like someone getting back to us because they know they would've been filmed. Okay. It's really somebody out there really making everybody's Christmas miserable. And like I said, to us, you know, we're fortunate. What about those people that are not fortunate? Yeah. It's, it's good for people to understand that there's people out there like that. Do not allow those people to ruin right. your life. A Christmas display damaged by vandals. A large inflatable Santa once towered this neighborhood. Bert Oliva received an early Christmas gift from his wife, a 12-foot inflatable Santa. Killing the Christmas spirit more so. Here's a good look at the video we need to show you. Someone not in the Christmas spirit moved in on Saturday night. Flashed by a heartless Grinch. Who could be so cruel? They just bought this inflatable Santa this week and three hours after purchasing it and bringing it home, someone tore right through Santa's leg. But the sneaky Grinch did not know that home surveillance cameras were rolling. Surveillance cameras, as you saw right there, captured the entire incident. And while that giant Santa was pricey, the Oliva family says it's not about the money, 
It's about the meaning behind it. This is his first Christmas without his mother, so I've been trying to make an extra effort to make him happy and to let him have a good Christmas because I know it's going to be a difficult one. I asked them, did this kill their Christmas spirit because uh, Santa is dead? And they said, no, not ever. They still have that spirit. And in fact, next year, they plan to have three of these inflatable Santas towering in their lawn. To the mystery killer that loves to kill Santa and the Christmas spirit. For the Scrooge, I just feel bad in the holiday season they actually have nothing else to do but to go out there and destroy other people's holiday. He better watch out. He better not cry. One day it's going to be his turn for somebody to kill his Christmas. And karma will get you. He's friends with Santa. Welcome to the family. I'm Val. Don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. And subscribe, of course. <laughs>